Welcome to Knowledge 2 Lesson 1. Everybody has a body. For the next few weeks, we will be learning about our own bodies and how they work. Our bodies are like complicated machines made up of many different parts. Some parts are visible, while others are hidden from view. Most of the time, your bodies work well, but sometimes, just like machines, they stop working correctly. Let's think of some solutions for repairing broken machines. Hmm, who would you call if your car wouldn't start? You'd call a mechanic. Who would you call if your telephone made funny noises? The phone repair person. And who would you call if your washing machine over flooded? You'd call a washing machine repair person. Now, who would you call if you had a very high fever or terrible tummy ache? I bet you would call your doctor. This is a picture of Dr. Wellbody. Dr. Wellbody is a pediatrician. She takes care of sick children, but she also knows lots of ways to help children stay well so that they won't get sick. She is going to help us understand our bodies. The purpose for listening today is to talk about what we know about how our bodies work. We will learn that the human body is a network of systems. And we want to listen to understand the word organs. Can you say organs? great job. Let's listen carefully to find out what is in our bodies beneath our skin that keeps us alive and healthy. Here we go. Pleased to meet you. I'm Dr. Wellbody, the rhyming pediatrician. Being a pediatrician is my job. That means that I am a medical doctor who takes care of children. When healthy children come to me for checkups, I help them stay healthy. When sick children come to me, I help them get better. I know how to do these things because I studied very hard in medical school, the kind of school you go to if you want to be a doctor. I learned all about how the human body works. Human means having the characteristics of or acting like a person. Raise your hand if you're a human. All hands should be up. Put them down. As for rhyming, that is my hobby. Do you like rhyming too? I think it is fun to make up rhymes. Here's one I made up about my favorite subject, the human body. Everybody has a body and I have one too. It is grand to understand the things our bodies do. Say it with me. Everybody has a body and I have one too. It is grand to understand the things our bodies do. Let's look closely at this picture. The human body truly is an amazing thing. Some parts of a human are on the outside where we can see them. You can probably see skin, hair, faces, and fingernails. Skin comes in different colors. Hair does too. Hair may be curly, wavy, or straight. Eyes may be brown, blue, or green. People are also different sizes and different ages too. Although people may look somewhat different from one another on the outside. On the inside, all humans are pretty much alike. All humans have 
organs, such as stomachs and intestines inside them. The organs work together in systems to keep each person alive and healthy. For example, the stomach and intestines are part of the digestive system, which turns the food you eat into energy. During our time together, I'm going to teach you about the skeletal system, the muscular system, the digestive system, the circulatory system, and the nervous system. These systems allow you to grow, move, think, hear, see, feel, and speak. They also enable your body to breathe air, digest food, and even heal itself. And the systems are all tied together into a network. That is called the human body. So the human body is a network of different systems that work together. Each system is made up of certain organs that help it do a special job. The outside of your body is covered by skin, the body's biggest organ. Your skin keeps your insides inside you. Your skin grows with you. It stretches when you move and keeps out dirt and water. It keeps you cool in the heat and warm in the cold. You can feel things with your skin. If you cut yourself, your skin will mend itself. Pretty amazing. The organs and systems that keep the body working are mostly hidden inside the body where we can't see them. Almost everything inside a human has a purpose. Touch your tummy. Inside your tummy, the stomach and the small intestine turn food into fuel. Other nearby organs called the liver and the kidneys help clean out waste. Now put your hand on your chest. The lungs are inside your chest. They are the organs that take in air when you breathe. Take a deep breath. When you do this, your lungs are filling up with air like balloons and your chest rises. We need oxygen from this air to stay alive. The oxygen from the air you breathe goes into your blood. Then your heart pumps the blood with oxygen to all parts of your body. Now put your hands on your head. Inside your head is your brain. The brain is the control center. Try wiggling your finger. Your brain just sent messages through tiny cables called nerves to tell the muscles in your finger to move. Your brain helps you learn, see, talk, laugh, and dream. In our time together, we are going to learn fascinating facts about the body, such as how many bones you have. Which muscle is the biggest in your body? Why food that you ate two days ago is still in your body today? We'll also learn how long it takes for your blood to circle all around your body, what controls your five senses, and much, much more. I hope you are as excited as I am. Now, before I go, let's say the body rhyme together again. Everybody has a body, and I have one too. It is grand to understand the things our bodies do. Okay then, bye until next time.